So you clicked on this video because you want to stop wasting time doing cure research. You want to stop wasting money on expensive tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush that cost literal thousands of dollars a year. And, you know, honestly, you can do all the things they do for you manually without spending any money and sometimes even with higher accuracy. Here's what I mean. So what's the whole goal of doing keyword research, right? The whole goal is to find what keywords, right, your potential customers are searching for on Google, Bing, ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok, whatever, whichever search engine you know you want to rank on, right? The goal is to figure out, okay, what keywords are they searching for, right? You do the you do research to find these keywords, right? And then produce content to rank for those keywords. Now, the reason why I say you should stop wasting time with these tools and anything else that's not this is because just by doing what I'm about to show you is more than enough and 10 times better than anything else other people advertise, okay? So it's gonna be super simple. The very first thing, okay, is you gotta sit down and think what you sell that solves a pain. So what is it that you are selling, right, that solves a customer's pain point, right? Doesn't matter if it's a product or a service, right? You sell something, right? And so sit down and actually think about what is the product or service you're selling. I know, of course, if you own a business, you know what you're selling, but type it out in a sentence, right? Exactly what you sell. For example, I'll give you uh, the example of, of, of our, uh, our software right here, our, our AI SEO software, right? We sell a software that helps people do SEO faster by leveraging AI. This is what we sell, okay? A software, a solution that helps people that want to do SEO, that know what SEO is, right? Do them faster, do it faster, excuse me. Okay, so this is what we sell, okay? So sit down and write in a sense whether that's shoes, plumbing services, cigars, pens, doesn't matter, write it down. That's important, right? So far, so good. Uh, pretty simple, right? And of course, if you can, right, the product you're selling should solve somewhat of a pain point, right? If you're selling wallets, well, you're solving the pain point of, for example, uh, people have no idea what to gift uh, their families for Christmas, and a wallet is a pretty good item to give away uh, for Christmas. Um, if you sell rhinoplasty services, so surgical surgical services, well, you're sort of solving the pain point of people not liking their, their their face and wanting to change it up, right? If you're selling a software like Journalist AI, well, you're solving the processes of having to do SEO manually that takes a lot of time. Well, we save you time. The, t the, the pain point here is saving you time, okay? Because then, once you know exactly what you sell, well, then you got to figure out, okay, who your ideal customer is. And a lot of people make the mistake of not knowing exactly who they sell to. And trust me, all this is going to make sense to finding the keywords, right? But before you actually find the keywords, right? You gotta know what you're selling, who you're selling it to, so who your ideal customer is, okay? And we'll go over the third third in a bit, right? But then, after you wrote down what you sell, okay, who are you selling it to? Is it uh, women? Is it men? Is it both? Is it kids? Is it uh, uh, older people? Is it uh, women in their 40s that, have just, uh, that just had a baby? Is it people that just got married? Is it people that wanna get married? Is it uh, boys, girls, right? Figure out who your ideal customer is. Because your ideal customer shouldn't be everyone, unless you have like a super broad product. For example, for us, our ideal customer is agencies, okay? So we sell a software that helps people do SEO faster, that's what we sell. So the pain point is, instead of having to do it, to spend all this time and money and uh, making it a slow process, we decrease increase the speed. And then to who? Well, to agencies, okay? Agency owners. This is who our ideal customer is. So now we know, okay, what we sell, great. Who we sell it to, even better. And then, right, after you know what you're selling and who you're selling it to, well, figure out what that that who would be searching for on Google Bing or any LLM-based search engines like ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Grok. Okay, so after you know what exactly you're selling that solves a pain point, who your ideal customer is, and what they would be searching for on Google, right, what would this person that wants to solve this pain point be searching for on Google? You don't need to use like expensive tools like this one, right? There's even a keyword research feature inside of Journalist AI. I won't even tell you to use this because you can do it manually, okay? You can just say, okay, sit down and think, okay, this is my customer. This is the pain point I solve. Let me make a list of keywords I think the customers would be searching for, or I guess the potential customers would be searching for on any of these engines uh, to find a solution for their problem, okay? And that's pretty much it, right? You figure out what the issue is you're solving, who your target market is, and then when you have these two, you come up with a list of keywords that you think, because again, you know your business better than anyone else, right? You're the owner. You know your customer's pain points better than me, better than anyone else, right? So you're the best person to do this search right here, right? 
tools can aid you, can help you, but the best person is yourself because you know what you saw, you know who your customer is. So you're the best person to go out and, and um, create this list of keywords. And of course, you can use tools to look at the search volume, look at the difficulty, right, and all that. But the first iteration should be you making the list. And then, right, once you have the list, right, well, then you create content that satisfies that intent, right? Because the whole goal, right, of these keywords, right, now we want to rank for these keywords. And what will Google, Bing, and all these LM-based search engines rank for these keywords? Well, they will rank content that satisfies the search intent for these keywords. For example, if one of these keywords is, um, how much does a rhinoplasty cost? If you search for it on any of these search engines, well, they'll rank content that talks about that. They'll never rank uh, an article about uh, dog beds because it's irrelevant, doesn't make any sense. So you gotta produce content that satisfies the search intent for these keywords. So if you wanna rank, for, if you're on, one of your keywords is, um, how much does a, a golden retriever cost or how much does a rhinoplasty cost, right? Well then go out and produce content that talks about the price of rhinoplasty, where to get one, the complications you might have before and after, right? Again, this is pretty straightforward. Oftentimes people complicate this by using expensive tools and all that. Don't need any of that, right? You don't even need to use this. I mean, you can use it to produce the content after if you'd like, or you can even use do it manually. Again, the process we solve here is that you can do it manually or you can use Journal CI to do it for you. Like in a, in a tenth of the time, quick plug right here. I'm gonna show you just real quick um, what an article that I did generate with this looks like. So this is all done with uh, AI. All the images, all the, uh, the in-article links, Picture the image, right? Table of contents, internal links, external links, even in article videos that are relevant to what the content is about right here. So all this then with AI. Again, you can do all this manually. But the pain point we're solving is that we save you a ton of time by giving you this right off the box, right? Again, you don't need to use this. You can then edit it, but edit, excuse me, but we give you this right off the box so you can take it and go from there. This is the pain point we solve ideally for agencies and business owners to um, be a step ahead and increase the speed at which they do SEO. And in case they don't like something, they can just go here and use our editor that's tailored for uh, for SEO. And for example, go here and click set the text and say add links and the AI will read through the article and add a bunch of links to the, to the article choosing the anchor text. So again, all this can be done manually, but I mean, our whole premise, our whole what is uh, we just save you time. If you don't like any of the images, you can just say, for example, uh, add a dog and the AI will add a dog to the existing concept of the image. This is a garden, so most likely the AI right now will add a dog to a garden to make make sure that this is um, in accordance to the whole context uh, of the article. There we go. Then you can accept this if you'd like. Now, going back to this, this is super straightforward. And you don't need to use any tools, you can do this manually, just sit down on a spreadsheet and figure out what is it that you're solving, excuse me, what is the product that you're solving, excuse me, what is the product that you're selling that solves a certain pain point, who do you want to sell it for, to, excuse me, and then what do you think these people, right, they want this product to solve this pain point, will be searching for on these search engines. And then just create content that solves, excuse me, that satisfies the search intent of these keywords. That's pretty much it. If you use AI to generate the content or not, doesn't matter, right? That's basically it. In a, in a super short, concise video, what keyword research is all about. And of course, it's very important, right, because if you don't know what to create content about, well, or if you choose the wrong keywords, you're going to be spending a lot of time and money creating content, building backlinks to the wrong content. And it's going to rank, but it's going to rank for keywords that you don't, want to, you don't necessarily want to be ranking for. And I'll give you an example right here for one of our, uh, one of our blog posts right here, which we talk about um, OpenAI's uh, revenue. I wrote, I wrote this blog post about uh, OpenAI's revenue. I think AI even wrote this, by the way. I think these are AI-based images, yeah. And so we wrote this post, and this post ranks and gets some traffic. However, it's pointless for us because... When I, I, I recorded a video going over the, um, the back end of this and looking at the, the people that came through this, to this page for the first time looking at our database, and none of the people that came through this page, because this is ranked on Google, ever bought, or even worse, never any, any of them created an account. And so this is ranking, right? But it, it's, it's pointless for us, right? Because none of the people searching for open AI revenue or whatever right, are interested in buying an ASU tool. And so... We spend money, time, etc., investing into that blog post for for nothing. Because I mean, yes, it ranks, it's great, but it doesn't bring any revenue. So, point here is that key research is super important because you don't want to make the the mistake of creating content, building backlinks, creating topical authority for keywords that will never bring you any money. So that's it. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate. Figure out what you're selling, who you're selling it to, and what you think those people will be searching for on Google. And you are the best person to do that because. You own the business. You you see the clients. You know their, you know you know their pain points. So better than any tool, 
it's uh, it's your own brain. So yeah, that's it. Short one. Like, subscribe. And uh, if you want more, more training like this, you can just go to tradjournalist.com forward slash academy. Quick plug right here before I end. And you get access to 12 months of a journalist AI. So the software that I just showed you, you get free full year's access to it. And a bunch of, let me just scroll through all my client testimonials right here. A bunch of, uh, of of my courses. You get an SEO community with live coaching calls, a one-on-one consulting call with me, SEO Q&A sessions, seven SEO courses, all these ones, plus an exclusive Rank and Rent plugin. So you, you can skim through this if you like, a YouTube SEO course, a link building SEO course, Rank and Rent, and a bunch more. Uh, you can read through all this right here. And of course, a 100% money back guarantee in case you don't like something. So you get access to all this. And of course, 12 months access to Journalist AI for a full year. So yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.